Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, we are going to talk about Kruskal Valley's test. It's a non-parametric test for comparing more uh, two or more independent samples. Okay. Actually, three, minimum three independent samples. So without further ado, let's share my screen with you. So kruskal wallis test for comparing more than two independent samples. Problem, and remember it's a non-parametric test where we do not assume that the samples came from a population which are normal. For the following independent and random samples, use the point one level of significance in testing whether the population medians could be equal. So we have data for sample one, sample two, and sample three. Now remember, we have to rank the, and there's a sample four too. We have to rank the four samples together. So for example, the lowest among all four of the samples is 102, it is one. Then it is 108, its rank is two. Uh, next is uh, 149 in sample two, which is rank is three. 102 and 108 data points are in sample three, the ranks are one and two. Okay, next uh, we are looking for a uh, sample with rank four. Okay, uh, and that is in sample two, data point is 171 and its rank is four. And we continue in this way. The next one is in sample four, data point is 190, its rank is five. So we complete the ranking for all of the four samples taken together. Then we find the sum of individual ranks for each of the samples. For example, for sample one, sum of the ranks is 69. For sample two, sum of the ranks is 61. And for sample three, sum of the ranks is 27. Whereas for sample four, sum of the ranks is 96. Okay. And the null hypothesis is median one equal to median two equal to median three equal to median four alternate at least one of the medians is different. We calculate the test per, uh, statistic H, which follows this form, I mean, which uses this formula. H is equal to 12 divided by N times N plus one. And in parentheses, sum of rank one square divided by N one, sum of, sum of rank two square divided by N two, sum of rank three square divided by N three, and sum of rank four square divided by N four, minus three times n times n plus one, three times n plus one. Now our total sample size n is 22, n1 is six, n2 is uh, five, n3 is five, and n4 is again six. So when we plug in the formula, it becomes 12 divided by 22 multiplied by 22 plus one, in parentheses 69 square divided by six plus 61 square divided by five, plus 27 squared divided by five plus 96 squared divided by six, end of the parenthesis minus three times 23. Finally, the test statistic H works out to be 7.35. Now, we, we are given alpha is equal to 0.1. We need to calculate the p-value associated with this test statistic. The p-value is the probability value of finding a test statistic as extreme as 7.39 or more extreme than that with degrees of freedom k minus one. k is number of samples, which is four minus one is three. So the so p-value is the area to the right of 7.35 test statistic under the chi-square curve with degrees of freedom three. So how do I find that? I go to second verse and then I scroll down to chi-square CDF. My lower is 7.35. My upper is a very large number on the right-hand side because it's a right tail test, which is one. And then second comma will get me the capital E, 99. Degrees of freedom is three when pest, enter and enter. P-value works out as 0 0.06. This is the area to the right of 7.35 under the chi-square curve with degrees of freedom three. Now this p-value is less than alpha equal to 0.1. Therefore, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Uh, 
if you have any question please do not hesitate to put a comment thanks for watching take care and please subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time have a nice day